Hello, friends. It's Horde Night, but it's, you know, four o'clock in the morning. So we've got a lot of stuff I want to get done today, mostly with the base, and we have two points to spend, which we cannot put into Skull Crusher until we reach level 10. So let's do something else with those points. Uh, this probably requires level eight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do with them. Could do all sorts of different things, but I think maybe we should do cardio. And I guess just do a point in fortitude. Oh, that's two points. Never mind. What machine gunner? We'll do that, because we're probably going to end up using the AK. So I got a lot of stuff cooking right here, just to show you quick. I'm making uh, 98 pieces of forged iron in this. I am making some bottles of water in here. Over here, I just made another cement mixer, and I'm making a couple of hatches and some turret ammo. So we are going to get the second one going, because this is taking forever over here. But I don't actually... Actually, maybe I do have enough. Uh, yeah, I just need the cement. Let's go grab the cement. We'll get that churning away, and we'll come back and pick this up later. There we go, we got 200 pieces there. We got another 300 pieces there. Looks good. I want to grab those hatches. Uh, we got all of our stuff here. We got ammo for tonight. We got some water. We got first aid. We got some throwables. We got some upgrade materials here. Let's make this a little bit tidier. Just because lockpicks and a hundred blocks because I have an interesting idea that I want to try to execute with the base that I am making. Uh, so maybe we'll just take one of these for now and we'll come grab the rest later. Eat one of these before we go and let's get out of here. Also I started to dig. I want to make a mine here but I wasn't going to go too too far before knowing that I survived the horde tonight. Because that's the goal. Survive the horde. Don't die. Right on up. Shut the doors. Gas up the vehicle. And we're going to start with base work. And I know like the last couple of episodes I've been doing like a sped up thing with some music. But if I can make work what I want to make work, I might do a little bit of that and then cut to the finished product so that... You can all uh, marvel in it, I suppose. So let's let's see if I can make this work and um, get a little bit of base work done and maybe drive up and see the trader that we've already seen, but actually like have him acknowledge us, I guess, is what we're doing now. And we're just going to throw this block here. We're going to jump up and then actually let's just leave that because we're going to need it later. Oh, I can't get through here anymore. I made it too tight. So I'm going to have to go up here and then down to get in. So, oh, I forgot I made a wooden hatch for there. Uh, I'm thinking about putting, I don't have it yet, but I'm thinking about putting the, the, the shooting turret right here so that it can help with birds and down the hallway if need be. But um, let's, let's pretend we're going to skip ahead because everything is going to work out great. And let's see what we find uh, when I come back from a brief hiatus of working on the base. Okay, so we just made pretty much all of this into concrete, as much as I could reach at least. Just to have that little extra reinforcement. As you can see, uh, that's what I've done. I'm just going to hit these ones quick while I can reach it from this angle. So. I was thinking about what happens if this fails. What is the plan? Can I get in there? No, not so much. Well, I got a concrete step now. So I might as well keep going. I was just trying to get that in there, but no such luck. Anyway, um, so we got our bars. 
got this opening here, which I don't love, but I'm probably going to put, like I said, the turret right here so it can shoot down if they come through here and actually manage to break through. We have our one hatch here. And then down here, I thought about, about putting the uh, sledge right here so that it's just constantly hitting them there. But if they manage to get through, there's a little bit of barbed wire here. As you can see, I'm getting hurt. And then there's a ladder up, and I'm going to have this hatch open, and I will be able to just shoot down on them right here. And I just want to build up a little bit of a cage here so that there's no birds. And I think... Uh, where's my block? My game's getting a little glitchy on me. All right. So I just want to put up some more bars if possible just to protect my my beautiful noggin from those nasty nasty birds this is because those birds are nasty i think we can all agree on that for some reason i can't put anything in this corner oh i can do it there all right i don't know it's, it's just being a little finicky but there is uh, that minor barbed wire damage as stuff is coming through. Like, I can't put it there, but I don't know why. Uh, oh, there's a couple of deer out there in the field. All right. Well, we're going to have as much of a cage as it'll let us have, I guess. Um, I don't know why it's being like this. Let's close that so it won't fall down. I can't even tell where it is. Okay, there we go. We want it on the roof. If we can, if I crouch, is this too low? No, that's fine. I'll stand under that. I mean, it is low, but you know, whatever. I don't know why it's just not letting me put stuff in most of these places that I want to try to put stuff like right there. All right. We might just have to make do with this terrible little cage. I don't know what's up with that. We'll just do wood in case it all falls apart. So this is the plan, though. Like I said, I wanted to do some base work before anything else. We got kind of a cage going here with this one bar. This is not going to work. That's just not good enough. I want to go up right there. Like, it won't let me put it there. Okay, I'm not sure why why it's being like that. I also couldn't put anything right here. It wouldn't let me do th do that earlier. So it like, lets me put it in the middle, but not on the side. I, I don't get it. So I just left this open in case I need to make a real emergency exit. I could jump to here and then jump to my bike, which is right below. So that's what we got. Um, kind of a mess with those bars. I, I just, it was just, I was wasting too much time trying to make that work. Um, and we still have a fair amount of cement and cobblestone for upgrades and repairs and, and the like. And I left this block here so that I can just get up easily later. For now, we're going to head up to that other town. We're going to formally introduce ourselves to this trader that we visited a whole bunch of times in the past. And... Probably just uh, get ready for Horde Night. Maybe stop and see a chicken along the way. Just for fun. I was hoping for Trader Jen since she does medical stuff, but no such luck. Can you have to search the forge? Huh. Or did it repopulate because we got the job? No, I'm curious. I do wish I could get that gyrocopter. The gas. All right. Hey, Bob. We have great prices. There we go. Eleven hundred bucks. Not bad. All of his stuff must have regenerated. Here's reward. Thanks. I owe you one. And I see your inventory. I'd like you to buy 
this, this, that. Uh, I'll read all those. You want some bones? Me either. Um, I think that's it, Bob. So what do you have? You have anything useful? You have a level 3 steel sledge. That I could get. I'm also close to unlocking the steel sledge, but that would also be a level 1. Wire posts. We've got some magazines, and I do have a lot of money. Got coffee. Breaching ammo. Iron, steel. Eh. Level 2 SMG. Is that better than my level 4 AK? I'm guessing it is based on the cost. Great mix of making some of that myself. Let's buy the steel sledge. 67.5 damage versus my 57. Yeah, let's buy the steel sledge. So we should probably start heading back because it's a long drive. Unfortunately, long drive. Because I'd really love to raid a place, but I also don't want to be late. Top car. If we hit this guy, we can take a look at that cop car. Oh, come on. And I got him. Let's get right up on that cop car. This is how you lockpick. And what do we get? Stun baton, a bottle of water, and some ammo. Alright. I realize I don't have any food on me. I don't know what made me think of that. Can't imagine what it was that made me think of that. Just eating a little bit before it all goes down. Let's jump up to our base. I really hope this works. Apparently I cannot reach that. Okay. That'll take care of it. I just don't want anybody trying to jump up here. Oh, I hope this works out. That looks so dumb. First case scenario is we end up up here. Where's that second hatch? Right there. So we could fight right here and then make an escape if everything goes badly. But I don't think it's going to come to that. Let's hop down here. Hopefully they come to this entrance and I haven't fortified it too much. But here we go. Ready. Come on, guys. I hear you hitting the spikes. So we'll just keep drinking, right? Uh, bad. Very bad. Very bad. This is going very bad. How are they getting in here? What are they doing? How did they get here? No. How did they get up here? I'm confused. Why the bleeding? Oh, are they, are they jumping on the spikes? What? Oh, nope. He didn't jump on the spike. He somehow got up here. Well, all of that seems like it's not gonna work. Shut up. I guess we're standing here for Horde Knight. So we're back to this, I guess. Just relying on the sledge to keep us safe, and I stand here and shoot. I don't, I don't, what are they 
already jumping up. There's a ladder there? How did I never notice there was a ladder there? That's unbelievable. How did I never notice this ladder? Oh, I can't believe that. Pickaxe. Birds. Stupid birds. I wonder if that'll do it. Man, what a disaster this is. I can't even find my stupid sledge. There it is. Come on. So now how are they going to try to get to me? Are they going to come to the door the way I wanted them to? The robotic sledge. That's fun. Inventory. I forgot to take a vitamin. Can you guys just come to the door like you're supposed to? They're not going to. They're gonna just beat in the side. But the side of where? Hear them. Where are they, Junkie? Tell me. Junkie turret. Alright. Oh, you're in there. Okay. So I think I made a somewhat of a critical error here. Let's, um... Have a snack. Of course, I took away that ladder now, so they can't even figure out what to do. I guess we should just go like this? This is terrible. actually come into where you're supposed to now? Oh, look at you. You did. Hey. Finally. Alright. This is the face I wanted. Well, that thought I'm still alive. Alright. It's like a three-stage base, and we immediately had to move to stage 2.5. Disaster.
Well, that was Horde Night. Um, <laughs> definitely was an experience. Uh, I didn't really particularly come anywhere close to dying, so that's good. Uh, let's actually just close this. I, I could have just stayed there at the, um, at the hatch, and I could have repaired the bars, but I kind of wanted to see how the rest of the Horde base would work once I got some of the other stuff sorted. Um, so that's why I let them in a few times, just to sort of see, like, pros and cons, are there flaws? There were clearly flaws with this base. I mean, I spent a lot of time putting it together, but it had some issues, for sure. Uh, I can certainly make it work again. Uh, look at that. So, there's, there's, there's ways I could make this work a little bit better, and... Maybe next time I will, um, just eat this, but, uh, for now, I'm just gonna collect all this stuff. I don't have a broken arm or leg or whatever, so I guess just dump that on the ground. Uh, yeah, overall, I mean, it was, I think, a reasonably successful base for something, you know, kind of built more or less at the last moment. Um, I'm thirsty. Let's drink a tea. And we'll use this and then take that. Honestly, kind of disappointed by the lack of magazines. I was really hoping to get some magazines. No such luck. Oh, my turrets are up there and abandoned. Or at least the one is. Uh, we, we actually, we do have our bike right here. You just throw some stuff in the bike. So anyway, that was the Horde base. That was the Day 28 Horde. Um, I, I, I didn't die. So I can't say that it wasn't a success, but it definitely... The latter oversight was horrible on my part. I just somehow never noticed it. Swat helmet? With a helmet light. Okay, I'm interested. If I repair that... How good is that compared to what I have now? Uh, it's down a fair bit. It's kind of cool though. Uh, oh, there's a bag way out here. Oh, that must have been a landmine. Leather gloves. Sure. Oh. And breakfast. I know I'm totally full, but... Um, I did it anyway. So, uh, the Molotov does not go down the ladder very well, as we learned. That did not work well. Spikes look like they're mostly intact on the side. They totally opened up this other side. Doesn't look like they did much over here. How about over on the other side here? Yeah, not much. How did the, the digging go from them on this? Oh, very little. Alright. They did some here. They did a lot to this one. So, if I'm going to keep it at all, I'm going to have to build this down. Oh, I missed a block. How did that happen? Guess I might as well repair it. Um... Yeah, I don't have any sim... Ooh, okay. Well, that's fine. And we got a sledge to sell. It's only worth 34 bucks, but whatever. We have it. We can sell it. Let's go back home. We'll call this episode there. How many skill points did we get? Two. Probably going to go right into strength or fortitude. I'm not sure which. So... Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad that, that I had made several stages to that base, because if I was only going to rely on that hatch... Like, I thought I was done for in the first five minutes when I was just getting wrecked from behind, uh, you know, having not noticed the, um, the glaring weakness there in my base. 
um, less than ideal start. But then, uh, you know, they, they eventually started going to the right spot and doing the right thing instead of, you know, causing a ruckus like they were. We got things under control eventually. So I'm going to go through and sort out all my stuff and figure out what comes next. But it's probably going to be more jobs for Hugh. Um, at least until I figure out if there is an end game for this series. Because there might be. It could be something where I just say like, hey, as of, you know, day whatever, um, if I'm still alive, we consider it a su su success. If I can speak properly. I can speak some good American. Um, we can consider it a success and then move on to our next series, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, we'll figure it out. That's, that's the fun of this game. There's lots of ideas I have. There's lots of things we can do. And I'm also... Excuse me. I say I'm open to suggestions, but the suggestion does not involve zombies at my doorstep. What are you doing? Are we really going to do this? Where are you? What are you doing? You're late. You're so late. Party's already over. Anyway, uh, that's going to that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, you know, please consider leaving a comment, leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. Any number of those things, including all of those things, would be appreciated. And I guess that's going to do it. So until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And thank you so much for watching.